I welcome every one of our great learners today on this platform. Today we shall be looking at types of farm animals. I hope this lesson. Learners should be able to define farm animals, list at least five types of farm animals, explain at least five types of farm animals, explain at least six uses of farm animals. What are farm animals? Farm animals are those animals which are reared by man for different purposes. They are generally called livestock and are, they are domesticated animals. Based on their classes, we shall be looking at them one by one. Number one here is a work animal. Work animals are animals used for work on the farm. They are referred to as beasts of burden. Examples include cattle, camels, donkeys, horses, and many more. The next one is the dairy animals. Dairy animals are animals reared purposely for milk production. They include cattle, sheep, goats, and probably camel. Then we have the guard animals. Guard animals are animals reared purposely for the protection of farm properties and the farmer themselves against thieves and other pests. Example of such guard animals we have dog, cat, geese, llama, and many more. Then we have the poultry birds. This refers to all domesticated birds that are either rare or hunted for food. Eggs, meat, and manure for the use of farm, for the use of man. They include domestic fowl, guinea fowl, geese, duck, turkey, and many more. Aquatic animals. These are animals that live inside water, like rivers, ponds, and streams. Example are fish, shellfish, eg crayfish, crabs, turtle, and even crocodile. Pets. Pets are animals that farmers keep for pleasure and companionship. Examples are cats, dogs, parrots, pigeons, canaries, and many more. Classification of farm animals. Farm animals are classified based on number one, size, habitats, mode of reproduction, stomach type. Classification according to size. On the basis of size, farm animals can be broadly classified into two. We have the large animals and then the small animals. Large animals. Large animals are farm animals which are relatively big in size. For example, we have cattle, horse, donkey, and camels. Then we have the small animals. Small animals are small in size. For example, we have the poultry, rabbit, guinea pig, sheep, goats, fish, snails, and many more. Then classification according to habitats. Based on habitat, farm animals can be classified into land or terrestrial animals. These animals, these are animals that live and feed and reproduce on land. Example, we have the cattle, goat, pigs, sheep, horses, fat rabbits, and many more of them. Then we have the water or aquatic animals. These are animals that live feed and reproduce in water, either freshwater or saltwater habitat. 
Example of such, we have the fish, oysters, prawn, lobsters, crayfish, crabs, turtles, and many more. Classification according to mode of reproduction. Based on mode of reproduction, we have uh, animals that can be classified based on those that give life to their young ones alive and those that give birth by laying of eggs. Animals that can give birth to their young ones alive and feed them with milk from their mammary glands are known as mammals. E.g. we have the cattle, sheep, goats and many more of them. Rabbits is one of them. Then animals that lay eggs, that is known mammals. We have fish, reptiles and birds. Classification according to the types of stomach. Based on this, farm animals can be classified into ruminant or polygastric animals then non-ruminant or monogastric animals. Now, when we're talking of polygastric, or talking, gastric is talking about the stomach. Poly means many, while mono means just one. Ruminant or polygastric animals. Ruminants have four stomach compartments, which are rumen, reticulum, omason, and abomason. Abomasum is a true stomach. Examples of such animals are cattle, sheep, and goats. These animals ruminate or chew the cord. When these animals eat grasses, grasses go undigested to the rumen. That's a first stomach. When the animal is resting, the food in the rumen is now released into the mouth for chewing and further digestion. This is called regurgitation, rumination, chewing the cord. Sometimes if you are very close to such animal, you find that even while they are sleeping, they are chewing their mouth. There's an act of what? Rumination or chewing the cord. Now the act of bringing the 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 the, the grasses they've eaten from their first stomach back into their mouth for further chewing or rumination is known as what regurgitation. Now the act of chewing it again and again is known as rumination or chewing the cord. Now these animals digest cellulose and fiber very well. Cellulose and fiber are the grass material they eat non ruminant or monogastric animals. Example of these animals are pig, rabbit, guinea pig, and poultry. These animals possess a simple stomach. This means that their stomach has only one chamber. They don't ruminate or chew the cord. This means that they digest their food at once, while the non-ruminants don't digest their food at once. After swallowing it, they bring it back into their mouth again and rechew it, which is known as what? Rumination. These animals cannot digest cellulose and fiber found in grass property properly. Hence, they do not eat grasses. Is one of the examples of non ruminant animal. It is a poultry bird. Uses of farm animals. Farm animals are used as sources of food for man and feed for animals. Production of industrial raw materials such as hide and skin for leather, animals' wool for clothes. Feathers for mattresses, horn, hooves, and bones for handle of cutlery, feet of farm animals. Useful oils for cold liver oil. Now, farm animals can be used as sources of manure, manure to fertilize the soil. Farm animals can be used as means of transportation, source of farm power. 
They can be used as source of income. Used as experimental animals in research laboratories. For decoration, can be used for decoration. Farm animals can also be used for security purposes. Then they can be used for social or cultural values. Assessment What are farm animals? List five types of farm animals, you know. Explain any three of the types of farm animals listed in two above. List all the classes of farm animals. List five uses of farm animals. Still, if you can't just get this correct, go over the video again and you'll be able to answer everything easily.